The birth of a child is best described as miraculous, a new life, new potential. But nearly four out of ten children in America are facing a future with heart disease and a lifelong struggle with obesity. Two out of ten children are facing a future with diabetes. For too many children, mental, emotional, and physical challenges as a result of these diseases are just waiting. But what if we could change that? What if we could give parents and physicians a roadmap for each child's health that could guide them to prevention methods and therapeutic treatments early on? The goal of this project is to identify sensitive, accurate markers in breath samples that are indicative of the status of heart function. And the further goal is to go from doing these studies in children who are at risk to babies who may be at risk. That's right. A simple breath test that can be delivered in the first few hours after birth to determine their lifelong risk of heart disease and other metabolic disorders. The general project is set up in two phases, where in the first phase we set up the study in baboons and as young adults showed heart problems. And then the second phase of the study will move into children who were obese and born to obese mothers because they're at very high risk of heart disease, but they won't necessarily have heart disease. So can we identify breath signatures that differentiate between obese children with healthy hearts and those that have heart dysfunction? And then the subtlety of the phase two is that if we're successful in the children, we'll move to younger and younger children where we can then look at infants. Early study results show promise. Metabolites in the breath of young baboons differ between females and males, underscoring that these markers exist and can be measured. Results also show that these markers have different properties depending on exposure while in the womb. Thus far, we have been able to detect patterns, specific signature patterns that are indicative of male breath, female breath. Uh, we've also been able to match patterns to uh, a, co a cohort of baboons that have heart dysfunction. So we're collecting the breath samples using an air sampling pump, which collects the animal's breath into air sampling bags. We can then use a extraction fiber to insert into the bags, which will bind the volatile molecules contained within the breath. This fiber will trap the molecules. We can then transfer that fiber into a gas chromatography mass spectrometer, which will cause the molecules to fall off the fiber and be injected into the instrument for analysis. In late 2017, phase two of Texas Biomed's study will expand to test the breath of children, thanks to a partnership with the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. So we're trying to get this breath fingerprint um, and trying to see whether this breath fingerprint from baboons is present in humans as well. And so ultimately what this would mean is when you, when you compare the two breath prints, um, what this would mean is uh, looking at the different clinical outcomes um, for, these, for these, you know, these babies. So we're looking at liver function, we're looking at heart function, we're looking at you know, overall health of the individual. The study is important because we know that babies that are born too small or babies that are born from obese mothers have a very high risk of heart dysfunction. And there's actually structural impact on the heart during fetal development. The windows of opportunity to intervene are much bigger and the interventions less drastic if we can intervene early. So if we can identify these health dysfunctions in infants, it's a very big window and using something like breath markers allows us to do this in a non-invasive way. Public support for this kind of project is essential. The novelty, the innovativeness, all make it high risk. So it's high risk, potentially high payoff. This is a pilot study. 
While we are years away from implementing this idea in the clinic, public support is critical to enable scientists the opportunity to apply for greater funding and move the research forward. Without your support, this extraordinary idea ends here. Think what it would mean if we could help doctors stop diseases before they even get started. Consider the cost savings if we can identify and treat or prevent disease before it occurs. Help us build a brighter, healthier future for our children. Support the Healthy Babies Project today.